Hey folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. We're once again going to be rendering this video on the, just want to remind you, the Super Duper Axon M. The only actual working true foldable phone with a permanent, you know, we attached uh, front and back. Nice hinge, very small gap. Very useful and super good with the Snapdragon 821 for rendering a video in PowerDirector. So, today we're talking about the, uh, this right here. This is the Chewy HI12. It's a 12 inch screen with a 2160 by 1440 uh, display. Uh, it hooks to Bluetooth quite easily, which is good because the speakers on it suck. So let's just listen to a little bit of this video here through the Untangle 3 and see what y'all think. Uh, I'm going to turn the Unts up before we do that. Here we go. Available right now for Google Pixels, the Essential Phone, and a few other devices, but some of the platform's most interesting features just aren't ready to use yet. I'm mostly talking about things like that lightning fast on device Google Assistant we saw at I.O. and live caption, which automatically transcribes whatever audio is playing at the moment. And there are also some facets of Android 10 that we just can't really test right now, like its support for foldables, because. Okay, so we got. That doing well. Now we are hooked to the net using my old Comfast CF913AC Wi-Fi adapter. So they're blinking like crazy right below the Logitech uh, mouse adapter and Wi-Fi. And this thing is pulling down a screaming 433 megasecond from my router, which is in another room, and doing quite well at it. And plenty of tabs going on here. You know, there's work. Uh, and I can zing right through photos, close it up. Lots of screen real estate, folks. Now remember, I paid $239 for this. I already had the, uh, Bluetooth, um, Logitech K480 keyboard, and I'm still using it today. Now, I used this all day yesterday, and we still have 66% uh, of our battery left. Now, we're only sitting on 50% um, display. This thing can get a hell of a lot brighter. Let's see how that uh, little cheap, I think it was a $10 adapter, works with a Wi-Fi router through a wall on uh, wireless AC. Let's check her out. Mm -hmm. And she's screaming up the scale here. I don't think we're going to get all the way up, but we ain't doing too shabby. About 50 on the downloads. Now the upload, hmm. Obviously that is not going to stay around. Uh, this is only supposed to have 5.5 on the uploads, but in truth I get uploads far quicker than that. 10.24, that is not too shabby. And that's why I still refer to this when I'm at work as my PC. This is a PC, folks, by any other standard. With a 12-inch, fairly high-res display, an exceedingly good 11,600 milliamp hour battery. Oh. We'll get you for two days of use. I mean, you know, unless you've got the screen on all the time. Yeah, it has downsides. Once in a while, it'll lock up when it goes to sleep. And it's just really 
a chore to wake it back up or I end up having to reach up and hit the volume down and power button at the same time for about 15 seconds and it restart from scratch. But other than that, <coughs> I've had this thing for like, I don't know, three years now. And uh, compared to, you know, these super, well, they're new and they're light and they're wondrous, these little um, pixel slates and you name it uh, that are out there, the Microsoft Surfaces, this thing just plain gets the job done. Uh, I can edit in OpenShot. I can do anything, well, here. Let's take a look at the desktop. Boom. All those apps. Totally available to me. Totally available. Fantastic stuff. So, uh, don't underestimate some of the old tech out there. You don't always need to be in the latest, thinnest, coolest with the attachable keyboard. The case I think I paid like six or seven dollars for. Got it on Amazon. Uh, I, other than a link to the Axon that we're doing the video on, uh, that'll be the only link in the description below. I don't even know where you can still buy this. But that's why they invented Google. And you can find it on Google. And I got a ton of room left on here still. Considering how many years I've had it. Because I've got a micro SD card in it. And uh, let's check it out here. Uh, on board the actual PC. I probably have about 10 gig free. Not much more than that. Uh, but I put pretty much everything onto this guy and uh, let's check it here been a while uh oh <sighs> now that's that's an issue with Android error Windows 10 by the way recently when you right click stuff sometimes it just doesn't work right uh, 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 let's go up to this PC. And now I can check properties. And, uh, I still have 14, well, roughly 13 gig free on my micro SD card. And I got a ton of car pictures, uh, a ton of invoices. I use this with uh, um, a <coughs> few-year-old version of Microsoft Office. It's fast. It's quick. It opens a spreadsheet in no time flat. And... <coughs> 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 I can actually edit an open shot in here, uh, video, and of course I can take a screenshot and then paste it in to the GIMP, and uh, we're good to go. So we're going to leave it at that and say, thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.